Yo, so I bought the cheapest electric scooter I found on eBay. $20. Rusty, looking like it crawled out of a landfill, scrapyard or some kind of thing. Most people would walk past it, but me, I saw potential, bruh. Not just the ride, but the birth of something legendary. Rasta Run. If Saron made scooters, this would be a hyper B step cousin. Forget the stock vag, forget the Teleria. I can't even spell Segway. This is a broke boy's electric dirt bike. Saronsta, I'm coming for ya. We're taking this clapped out scoot and making it off-road certified. First up, motor swap. Stock motor is trash. It's a tired 800 watt brush DC motor with two wires and no dreams. All I used, a janky Allen key I stole from my girlfriend's kitchen drawer. Lefty Lucy on the two hex bolts and boom, off comes the MI1020 motor. But this scooter got booby traps my guy. To slide the motor out you gotta move the suspension shock. Grab a 14mm spanner and a 17mm wrench, spin it like you know what you're doing my guy. One bolt off, swing the shock aside. Easy access baby. Oh, watch out for the T8F8 chain. Hanging on like it pays rent bro. Remove that too. Now this is where the magic happens. New motor time. Meet the BY1020. Brush this cousin, bro. 72 volt capable, silent, but deadly. Same size, same mount, but unlike the old one, this one don't eat brushes for breakfast. It's efficient. SEXY, ready to rip. Mount it using the same bolts, ride it tighty like you mean it. Now let's talk about the nerve center, the electric speed controller. This goes the same for an electric bike. At first glance, looks like a spaghetti nightmare. So here's the gospel. Battery wires, thick as where the black pit. Mine didn't match the controller connector. So I chopped the connector, spliced it clean, never start with the battery wire by the way. So I've got the two thickest wires right here, which are red and black. I assume they're the battery, negative snipped and battery positive snip ready to fit on my new controller kind of thing think 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 xt60 baby strong waterproof connection gonna avoid using my teeth today so i'm gonna use wire snippers to strip the wire so i can i've basically got it half pinched i haven't got like fully pinched or nothing like there i've got it just like finger tight on it circling around and around full circle and then i pull oh it worked <laughs> done it without using my teeth this channel is actually starting to improve no teeth fuse bro good one let's get it yo no i ain't the type to give up if i do something man i do it till i get what i want i turn a business out of nothing into something I and i'm gonna split this in the same sort of contraption where it's like a V shape, yeah baby. Once I've got it like that, twist and tie these together. I'm gonna twist one couple together, yeah? Leaving me these. And then once I've got it, twist that together. And then I would then insulation pull. tape. And a lot of insulation tape over there. Don't want negative and positive to touch ever. That's how you're gonna bust your controller straight away. Or worse, your battery. Short out your battery. That will be a pain. That's the most expensive bit. The battery. I'm keeping this upgrade budget friendly. I'm using the same battery I had, which is 36 volt. Start with the motor wiring. Simpler. You got three thick phase wires, blue, yellow, green. Match them color for color like in preschool, my guy. To connect our whole sensors, this is what came in the package. Mine snapped, it's broke. It's meant to be one piece like this on both sides. Maybe something like that or something. And then this guy is gonna go over, <laughs> seal the whole thing. So yeah, he ain't sealing nothing. It's my little setup right now. So I'm gonna start with a blue one which I'm gonna slam right there, son. And then from the motor side, we're gonna use the same thing again. A blue one. Right in there, we get our, this guy, and screw it on. It helps if you put a washer in between here just to get a better contact, okay? You have motor or DC motor spinning in the wrong direction on test? No stress. We'll teach it with self-learning wire at the end. The 
quality of this electrical connector is shocking next hall sensors a five pin squad red black green yellow blue plug and play keep it simple the whole sensor wires from the controller it's pretty easy to tell because they actually say hall on them it's usually five wires a connector of five Same wires is here which is green yellow blue but with the added red and black i can play system here because look red to red black to black this is going to be plug and play the right way basically when you plug this in and your motor spins backwards we just plug in what we call the self-learning wire which we, we are going to do in a minute anyway it's going to be going to black, red to red flip it over yellow to yellow green in the middle to green blue to blue on the other end pow got motor Doink. fully connected that is three phase wires five whole sensor wires there's a brushless motor connected no. bro. I'm getting so excited. It's insane. Throttles next. Trace it from the handlebars. Usually three wires. Red for power, black for ground, and green for signal. Pro tip. Red goes to red. Black goes to black. And for the love of wheelies, make sure the signal wire never touches full battery voltage. One wrong move and your throttles fried toast. I swapped mine to a generic 3-pin connector for peace of mind. This scooter came with a key ignition boogie, right? One wire goes to the constant voltage from the alarm wire on the controller. Your electric vehicle to work our battery. Sheesh. Y'all see that? Those were the capacitors in this controller that I'm taking off. There's still some juice but in. No ignition wire, no go. Controller sleeps forever. Wire right, you've got power on on command. Because of one single ignition red wire, which is this guy. This guy over here. If you notice, yes, same connector and whatnot. But the red is actually a thinner wire. Slightly, slightly thinner. Okay, thinner gauge, feels thinner. That's your ignition wire it must be connected to the battery positive for the controller to turn on this is on a brushless controller now yeah it's switching between them two to turn on and off that's how you turn this controller on and off that's how most brushless controllers work if you've got a screen that might be slightly different for you battery time panasonic pink cells 36 volts 28 ah 1024 watt hours this thing sips power and dishes out 50 amps like it's got something to prove potential range 80 miles on a 20 dollar frame i flicked the switch throttle twisted Yo, this electric scooter wheelies on command. Straight talk feels like an electric pit bike got into a fight with a oh, Tesla. And one, ground, bro. Baby. Three, two, one, let's go. <gasps> oh, holy crap. Go again, go again, bro. There's only one way to learn, right? There's only one way to learn by hitting the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. <sighs> what? Damn, bro. Come on, one, two, three, let's go. I am meeting this ground any moment now. Three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> we built something now. Come on, each time it keeps getting better. I'm gonna try it one last time before I actually lose some teeth. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. 100 pounds and it's absolutely. <laughs> this thing is just doing it through just power. Bro. What? Oh, that was nearly 12 o'clock. Try it. Sat down. Let's go. I'm going to go to the back as much as I can. And three, two, one. Oh my God. It lifts with you. Sat down, bro. Let's try again. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm putting this thing away before I get hurt. A few moments later. Absolutely brilliant. I've never actually been. Whoa. Bro. Top speed, low right now, cause it's geared like a Saron dead demon. Next mod, change the front sprocket from 11 tooth to 15 teeth. 
more teeth more speed you already know that's just the beginning my guy next up we up in the voltage from 36 volts to 48 volts then 60 volts and of course full send 72 volts this is rasta on rack subscribe like and all of that yeah or catch me blowing past traffic on the scooter they said couldn't be saved these battery wires will get warm they can actually melt your connectors off and yada 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 so i'm just watching to make sure not like that's gonna touch one really should have tucked little things like this away these are wires i don't need right now for the brake light and whatnot which is a bit a broke at the moment just tuck that in there for now it's not connected it's useless it's just for the Vivo sure. motor is impressing me. I like the sound of it. That... Ooh, wow, you see how much power it's got even in the grass, bro. Oh, yo. Oh my god, like it moves, bro. Like it's got torque, that's for sure. I don't have a battery meter, so I have no idea how long my battery will actually like last properly. It's, it's rated for 80 miles with my setup. Whether to actually do that due to my battery health, I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. And I can feel something dodgy going on down here. I just need to quickly check what is going on. Oh, that's what's going on. That would have stuck in the ground. Boom. It maybe sent me flying or something like that. We need to uh, yeah, keep that stretchy up. like that. I should keep my stand up, like dig into the floor. Bro. My build, my build is looking alright. Actually, looks like a little scooter, bro. Like, come on, like fresh Vivo tank. Come on, I'm loving this Vivo motor, really though. I've got to make everything else look cleaner and stuff. But anyways, system on. It's actually got two parts of the ignition. I'm gonna make the second ignition to turn on lights and stuff like that. We're gonna have like under scooter lights and that. You know, like purple things, bro. Come on. I don't know why purple. It's just anyways. Flick the system on. Let's find out where this takes us. I have no idea. What the talk, bro? This thing just takes off. Come on now. Woo! This is what I'm talking about, bro. Yes, bro. I just built the absolutely insane scooter. Oh my god. <laughs> this is brilliant, bro. Come on now. Straight through. Heavy crashing. I'm just busting through like a lawnmower, bro. Like chopping, 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 chopping the farm today. Come on. I have no idea what I meant. Back to nettles. Whoa. Bro, when I say nettles, some of you guys maybe don't know what I'm talking about. Look at the thorn on this thing. Bruh. In these. Keep digging into me. Look at my latest. The latest. You know? Going through all these guys. Look at this. There comes me. Zoom. On the scoot, bro. Rest on the ride, thinking it's crazy. Busting through all these thorny, hairy, itchy, down, bro. Let's go. Ah, do I really want to just go 30 miles an hour into that. Well, that's what I keep doing. I need to stop it. Like, this one's already digging into me. You stuck to me. Who are you? I don't know you. Like, ah. Oh, bro, that's really got me. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Ow. Right. I'm itchy now. Help. Look at this for hill. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> bro, it really is. Help. Oh, check this out. Check, check, check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I can wheel you now, yeah? <laughs> right, this thing's alright. Don't stack it though, yeah? <laughs> oh, I'm dizzy, bro. Right. Check on the wires again. Oh. The wires are warm. I think I'm gonna need a thicker gauge wire for the main batteries, really, because uh, they're they're a bit warm. They're not hot or not like that, but they're warm. I can feel them. So I'm gonna sort that out. Does this go through these without stopping? No. So if like you're in trouble and someone is chasing you, maybe thugs or something, I don't know. 
you gotta sort this out you'd have to come through lift the front up turn it lift the front up Quick to accelerate, I must say. Very quick to accelerate. Obviously, I can make it a little bit faster by changing the gear in. I am looking to change either the rear sprocket or the front sprocket. Gravel time. Slippery on the mud. Brake check, rear brake, front brake. Turn with a little donut. Does that okay? It's fine. Let's go. Actually lifted a little bit on the takeoff then. I think this thing will wheelie. <laughs> if you could actually wheelie the thing, this thing will wheelie. What's down here? Oh, oh why do I end up? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I forgot about these nettles, bro. Why? Why am I doing it? Oh, Ow, we see the size of that one. Bro. Okay, let's go. That's more like it. More open. Send it. This is alright, bro. Let's not hit the pothole, of course. If I do go in a pothole right now, I am done for. Oh, yo. So, anyway, I'm not full throttle on the open field. Yeah, bro. What? The power from this thing, bro. Oh no! Now it's breaking itself, bro. You gotta fix it. Yeah, I think we should fix it. Just lifting up over there. Ta da! It's fixed! Getaways! Come on. Should I wheelie it? Wheelie, one last wheelie. One last wheelie for the boys. Yeah! Bro. yeah.